guys, today we're going to give you a demonstration of the pros and cons of cleaning leather and the wrong products you shouldn't be using and the correct products you should be using. Anything that's water based, that's made from a natural soap flake is absolutely perfect to use on your leather. Just think of it like your own skin. This is delicate, just like your own skin is. So there's obviously all sorts of sort of care that you've got to take care, you know, there's also things you've got to take care of with your leather to make sure that it lasts a long time, just like your own skin, you're going to take care of it. So you've got to make sure you take care of this with nourishing it with the correct amount of protection creams, cleaning it as frequently as you should do. Now, there's a lot of myths about certain products that people use. And it's amazing how many people think that, the, you know, the good old baby wipes, they're absolutely wonderful. You get something spilled on your leather couch and it's a very big quick fix thing and they're going to get out that baby wipe and they're just going to wipe that dirt away. Well, the thing is, the problem you've got with baby wipes is now they contain a lot of chemicals that you just don't want on here. It might, may make you frightened about using them on your baby as well, to be fair. Um, with things like benzoyl, alcohol, sodium hydroxide, there's various acids that go into them. And the reason why they put these in there as well as like the, you know, you've got the sodium citrates and stuff like that, they're in there purely and simply to stop them drying out. So obviously it keeps them wet whilst they're in that container. And the minute they come out, it's amazing how quick they just dry out as fast as anything. So as you can imagine, once you put them on the leather surface here, that is going to dry that leather surface out, it's going to crack it, it's going to take away that clear coat surface that's on there to protect your leather in the first place, it's going to make all cracks appear, it's going to dry it out, it could even make it go brittle and stiff, it could peel. There's so many various things that baby wipes can actually sort of do to your leather. So I mean that's a little bit about baby wipes. Um, obviously as I say the safest way to clean your leather is with water-based products. Now, you've also then get on to things like, you get on magic erasers. Um, your magic erasers, I mean, they're okay for things like wood and stuff like that. Obviously, they're a fine abrasive, so I mean, they're going to sand things down. And that's quite important there, it's the sand. So, I mean, if you can imagine, that's going to abrade away the surface here and sand that off. Take away that clear coat. It's going to then break down the surface colour that you've got on your leather. Because obviously, all leather is surface coated. That's called pigmented. It's a surface coated leather. Unless you get into things like your analynes, which is obviously dyed right through, so it's a pure analyne dye. So these are surface coated, it's called pigmented. Um, same as your car interiors, they're also surface coated. So what that means is, is that the actual color is sat on the surface of the leather. It's like a paint in effect. So they've painted the surface of the leather, and it's like when you're doing any corrections for obviously repair works, you're gonna repaint that leather. Now obviously, what the, Magic erasers do again, they're a big no no not to use them. Um, it, it's literally like a fine sandpaper. So it's going to rub away all the surfaces, it's going to speed up the sort of wear and tear that's taking place on here. As I say, they're great for wood, but they're certainly not great for your leather. You imagine using them on your skin, eventually you're going to end up red raw and eventually start bleeding. So you can imagine that happening on here. That's just going to wear that colour right off here and you're going to get right back through it eventually you're going to turn it to suede which is one expensive couch totally ruined so again get your magic erasers chuck them in the bin because you don't need them guys because they're just crazy um now good old fashion days people still got it in in them today that they want to use saddle soap it's okay on saddles that's what it's designed for but obviously saddle soap contains a product called lye, um, which has so many different meanings and things. Basically, in a nutshell, it's an extremely caustic product. So, as you can imagine, caustic soda, that's like another name for it. So, I mean, it's, it's very dangerous for your leather because it's a high caustic. And, and the mad thing is with it, it's got like a lot of alkaline in there, which is like, like a pH 10 or above. So, if you can imagine using something like a pH 10 or above on your leather, that is really serious. That's gonna just strip everything off it. That's why we all like to have things pH neutral because then there's no alkalines in there. They're completely natural other products and that's what you want for your leather. Now, the thing is obviously with the uh, saddle soaps uh, over time, um, with that going from a natural leather and, and using the um, uh, saddle soap on it, that's going to eventually sort of turn your leather to like an alkaline effect because it's so intense it's going to get right into the pores 
and just eat away at it. And what that causes, if it eats away, is it's going to darken it, it's going to weaken it, and it's going to harden it. So that's the structure of your leather is going to become very weak, very dark, very brittle, and almost to the point where you can just go like that with your finger. It's just going to literally break it and actually cause that problem with it. So that we've got to stop. So what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to get my Tampico brush, which is what this is here. We use a Tampico brush for um, cleaning leather. It's, it's made from the Elgar plant. It's a natural fibre. It sounds quite rough when we're using it, but I mean, it's not rough at all. So, I mean, that's a natural plant. It's very, very safe. It's used in the industry quite a fair bit. So, I mean, they're a really pretty good um, product. And that's what we use um, all the time. So, this is the particular leather cleaner. Obviously, it's our own leather cleaner, leather repair company's leather cleaner. Uh, again, water-based, made from natural soap flakes. So we're just going to put a squirt on there. I don't know whether you can sort of see this in shot here. We've just sort of cleaned this big patch in. You can sort of see the dirt around it, which is what we've done previously. So I'm just going to go and sort of put some uh, leather cleaner on there. And we're going to obviously use the um, Tampica brush to rub that in. And we're going to use a terry towel to wipe away any excess dirt. So hopefully you'll see what sort of effect that this has on it. So you're probably going to lose my head now, because I'm going to get up a little bit and get off my knees and just sort of spray that on there. Give it a good scrub in, and you should hopefully start to see the effects of the cleaner working its magic on there. Just carry on going with that, just working that over the surface. You don't need to spray on massive amounts because it's you know it's a very effective cleaner, and that's what you're looking for. Is it's something that's going to clean effectively rather than a caustic product which is going to strip. Now, talking about caustic, now the other thing you've got to bear in mind, look at the dirt coming off there, it's unbelievable. And that's just with a real quick go on it. Now, the other thing that you do get in some leather cleaners that some manufacturers do put in, again, it's a great product for um, cleaning, um, but it's, it's not something that you want to have on your leather, which is ammonia. Ammonia, what that does again, it's, it's just gonna speed up the wear process, break down the surface of the leather, take the color off, and ruin your leather again. So just make sure that you check with anybody that you're buying your leather cleaners from that they are ammonia free. Happy to say ours is. So obviously just, just check because that, that literally is just like a way of putting ammonia in. It's just gonna speed up the wear process which means you've gotta go back and buy a restoration kit from them. So I'm just gonna carry on the cleaning this over here. We're gonna do this top section here. You might be able to, once I've cleaned this section, you might be able to sort of zoom, once I've done that and dried this off, I'll, I'll get the camera to zoom in and we can show you exactly how much of a difference that is on there to the other half here, which we haven't done. And I'm gonna do this arm as well, so you can sort of see that. I'll do half the arm, so you can actually see exactly what that looks like. But what I'm gonna do, once I've cleaned this section, I'm gonna look at that through a little eyeglass so we can see if there's any damage on the leather. And then once, once we can see that damage, we can tell if it needs any sort of restoration works, which is a good way around doing it, because you can then see if there's anything breaking down on the surface which, I mean, again, they're fantastic little tools. Um, that's all they are, just one of these. It's just like, you can get these on the internet from sort of like eight pounds to 38 pounds. I think this one was about 12 pounds, something like that. So, I mean, they're, they're quite a good little gadget. Um, but I don't know whether you can sort of zoom in there and see that here, this sort of section where I've cleaned up to around here. You can sort of see a real good, nice sort of dark line around here, and this dark line here, and this really nice clean patch. And to be fair, it feels, this feels like sticky and grubby and grimy. This feels soft and luxurious like leather should do. So that's the sort of feeling that you want to your leather. And obviously, as you can see, this is now dull. This is very shiny and, and that's what you don't want. The camera may not pick that up due to the lighting we have here. The shine is basically created from grease and sweat and grime from your own body that's got on there. So, I mean, that then sort of acts as like with you rubbing against it, you're almost acting like a polishing agent, you're polishing that sort of grease and natural sort of liquids that's coming out of your body, so to speak, and that sort of polishes that up and makes it shiny. So now you can see that's really nice and dull, just exactly as it should be, and that feels beautiful and smooth. So we're just gonna have a look. You're not gonna pick this up on the camera, but I just wanna have a look to double check to make sure there is no damage on here, because that will show like very fine hairline cracking in the leather. So if there is damage on there, you can correct that hairline cracking before it gets any worse and wears down. So now that, look, that, that looks okay, to be fair. We've got like a little bit of colour loss here on the scuff, very, very tiny bit here and a bit here, but that can be easily corrected anyway. But apart from that, there is no hairline cracking in that leather. So that's good. So that's just it's a good little tool, that. Um, just a little eyeglass. Some people call it a linen tester. 
but they're just a great little tool. So you can get on the internet and buy one of those and they just literally fold away. Quite a handy, neat little thing to have with you, to be fair, or even to have at home. So I'm just gonna clean half of this arm for you so you can see what that's like. I'll just sort of probably do this front half here. And uh, then we're gonna apply some protection cream on there and, and so you can sort of see how we apply the protection cream. And you should be able to hopefully see the difference here with this arm as we clean this over. As I say, I'll do one half of it, but just you know, keep checking as you go in. You can see all the dirt coming off there. It's absolutely amazing as it's, you know, the liquid on it at the moment. So that should make that arm really nice and soft and smooth again and perfectly clean and pull all the leather out of the pores. Obviously different leathers, you've got to bear in mind, different leathers, you're going to use different types of um, cleaning products. Obviously on aniline, you're going to use an aniline cleaner, which is a lot more um, refined than what the standard leather cleaner is. So I mean, that's obviously because it's, it's, it's an open pores leather, so I mean, it's totally open, but look at the dirt, it's amazing. But look at the difference on that. Hopefully the camera will pick that up. I mean, that is just absolutely staggering, the, the difference there. And that's, I've not even fully cleaned this yet, but that's just sort of gone over that very, very quickly. Just showing you how to clean that. But I'll, I'll give it another quick uh, squirt over and see if we can pull some more dirt out. There's a little stain in there, which this is a great cleaner for removing stains. It's, you know, you can remove obviously denim dye transfer with this as well as um, newspaper print and stuff like that. So obviously those stubborn ones, you're gonna need a, a proper ink and stain remover to do that as well, where they're very, very stubborn. Because obviously things like ink, it's it's a form of dye, but it is a dye basically, and obviously one thing that's going to dye your leather finish. So that that's where it becomes a problem. Is once it's got in there, it's going to dye, especially with things like aniline, where it's an open leather, so it's going to dye that aniline. So then you've got to re-dye the aniline surface, because obviously aniline is just a dye through. There's no protective surface coating on there, whereas at least these do have a clear coat lacquer on them, so they've got that protective surface coating on there to help sort of protect them a little bit. Oh, I mean, that is just absolutely staggering. Just move those out of the way so you can see that a little bit better. I don't know whether you can sort of zoom in and sort of get that, or whether it will zoom in to get this out, because it might sort of just go out of focus slightly, but that is absolutely amazing, the difference on there. I mean, that is just staggering. I mean, that's unbelievable. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna clean this section across here, up to this edge, leave this bit here to here, clean that section over and then we're going to proceed with the uh, protection cream on there to obviously protect your leather. So let's just get a little bit squirted on there. Quite grubby in this top corner. So you can work in a circular motion if you wanted to or straight lines when you're using the Tampico brush. Just don't forget when you're doing this, don't use those magic erasers because all they're going to do is just literally sand the surface away. You just don't want to use your magic erasers because they are going to sand it away. So if you know if you do want any form of advice, if you're really uncertain, then you know you, people can come and speak to us about leather care, you know, protection and stuff like that. Um, it's the same with um, leather wipes, to be quite honest, leather cleaning wipes and leather protection wipes. To be fair, I wouldn't use them, I'd just chuck them all in the bin because they just, if you were to squeeze out, out of the leather cleaning wipes, the amount of cleaner that's in each wipe, that bottle there, I can't remember the exact price, but say that's 15 pounds on our website, could be 12, can't remember. Say it's 15. To get that same amount of product, a 500 ml bottle, by the time you've squeezed everything out of every leather wipe, that bottle would probably cost you a thousand quid. Is that cost effective? Can you afford to spend that sort of money? You really want a proper leather cleaner, whether it's ours or anybody else's, just make sure it's water-based, because that is what you need. But this, it, you know, is a very good leather cleaner, as you can clearly see. Um, but I mean, leather wipes, personally, I wouldn't use them. Again, why do you think they stay damp inside the seal packet they're in? Think about that. We've already told you about the baby wipes, why they stay damp, because of all the chemicals that are contained within them. So, you know, it's possible that they could be along the same lines. So you just got to remember that. Um, obviously, once you've cleaned, one of the most important things you need to do is obviously is to apply a good quality protector um, to help stop stains. It allows the leather to breathe, um, waterproofs it, and 
you know, stops wear and tear taking place because this has like a very special sort of intelligent sort of protection barrier on it, which it sort of its special molecules sort of open up when things sort of get on there that's wet and it sort of helps it and stops drink stains and stuff like that getting right into the grain of it and actually causing a stain on your leather. So just give that a little bit of a shake. The beauty of these is it's um has a leather aroma to it. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's really nice sort of leather smell. So we're just going to put a small amount on the cloth there and we're just going to literally massage that in very, very gently, massage that into the cleaned area. And we're going to do that all over the leather there where we've cleaned it very, very gently because it, this, this, you don't have to wait for this to dry. Um, it dries very, very quick. And this is a beautiful sort of um, protection cream. It's, it's based on a hundred and something year old recipe um, in the uh, leather industry and it's it I mean the, the aroma to it's absolutely fantastic so you know some people sort of quote that you've got to wait 20 and 30 minutes for this to dry it this dries pretty quick and again it's very safe it's water-based um, you know and it's absolutely perfect for your leather it's you know it's, it's like anything you put on your own skin just think about it. Is it safe? You know, what you put on your leather, is it safe for your own skin? And it's like, you know, with this, you know, some people might call me bonkers, but hey, look, this is safe for me, this is safe for that. So I ain't got a problem with that because it's all water-based. So it's it's perfectly safe, you know, for everything that you're doing. So, I mean, that, that's the beauty of it. It's a fantastic product. And that's drying already. And that will then give you, that will leave the leather surface a nice sort of... Um, Matte finish to it again. Um, anything that creates a shine on there has obviously got silicones in it. Silicones, obviously, we all know what they're for, which is used on sort of like door shuts and things like that on car interiors. They're going to dry out the leather again, create cracking and stuff like that. So, I mean, anything you need to know about leather cleaning, leather protection, you can contact one of our guys. We're always here to help. You can go on the website, you can send us an email. Um, our website is www leatherrepaircompany.com any questions you've got just go on the contact us page drop us an email we're more than happy to help you doesn't matter whose products you've got we'll try to help you as best as we possibly can that's what we're here for as a company is to make sure that you're doing your leather cleaning and protecting to the best abilities that you possibly can to extend its life because that is very important extending the life of your leather is very important it's an expensive item a minimum once every three months you should clean and protect your leather something like a car that's used very 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 regular every day that wants to be cleaned more frequently my own vehicle I clean every month and protect it every month and I don't get any wear on my vehicle because what wear with me getting in and out is actually wearing the protection cream that's on the surface and not actually breaking down the clear coat lacquer which then takes out the dye once the clear coat lacquer has gone so, I mean, the, the beauty of, you know, with everything, make sure all your products are water-based and, you, you know, that, that's the safest sort of thing that you could have for your leather. So, I mean, as I say, if you want to contact us, you, I've given you the website already, but I'll give you it again, www.leatherrepaircompany.com and we can actually get that sorted out for you. So, I mean, everything you need to know is there on the website and it's here in this video. It's absolutely fantastic. Thanks very much guys for watching, we hope you found it very interesting.